right, everybody, it is time for Promancing the Stones, the series where I try to find my one true pro soulmate. The pro I want to study, the pro that I want to memorize games from, the pro who is like the highest level ideal of someone invites what you to I play. Be in my Go games. Today, we are looking at Roy Nyway. Now, we tried to do this Wednesday, and I had some technical difficulties. So we're doing this on Friday instead. Uh, I think I worked out what the problem was. I think it was ghosts. <laughs> no, not really. But uh, yeah, when I reopened OBS, everything was working again. So um, anyway, we'll carry on. Roy Nyway is the first woman to uh, achieve nine pro status in the world and is largely considered to be the strongest woman player ever of Go which is, is pretty amazing, to say the most. To say the least, yes. So let's look at some games. I have a game from 1982, from 2000, and from 2018. Let's dive in. Mm hmm Do-do-do. So. Rui Naiwais is white, and she is playing Kusunoki. To Taruko, and this is the China Japan Go Exchange from 1982. Uh, we have a 3 3 before facing and a 4 4. And there's a Chinese opening. White takes an extension on the bottom. Black approaches a large knight's move to the 3-3. So far, Roy looks very territorial. It invades right away, gets hit, and takes a small base. Interesting. Makes it alive, jumps up. At this point, she is not a uh, 9 pro. I think she's like 3 or 4 pro. Oh, and maybe this is where we're seeing some of that fighting spirit. Um, when I was reading online, it said that she was a very, very aggressive player. So the bottom left looks complicated, but finished. Black's like, I want all of this. And right now, I don't feel like white has a terrible... A lot of um, territory on the board. Like, white looks points poor to me right now. So I wonder how this will turn out. Yeah, black instigated everything there. Seemed to be. What is Roy going to do about this? Oh, Rui Naiwei also helped found the American uh, pro system, as I was reading. Because they lived in California for a while. Okay. Did the invasion... Black ignored that invasion. Kind of. Interesting. Oh, Black's just surrounding this. I see. This, this group, this, this looks like a, this looks like a situation I would get myself into. <laughs> it's a little scary. Someone invites you but to I play. We can just uh, connect over here. Timing. Oh, Black's taking a large top side now, too. But White's got most of the right hand side now. A fairly, fairly decent sized corner. Actually, a large corner with these being captured. Another decent sized corner. 
and is now producing at the top. Interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. I cannot hear the Fox Challenge. I am going to um, close that right now. Sorry about that, you guys. You're very welcome. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> okay, and it's starting to feel like endgame. Okay, Black took some of the side back. How is white going to reduce this huge area? I really feel like black is in the lead. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it's endgame, endgame, endgame. All the endgames. Now, I haven't seen this whole game before. Um, I picked it because it was the earliest one on go4go.net. And it, I think it made it to completion. Like, it, it didn't get won by resign. Complicated scenario. Ooh, what? Was pretty peaceful after all, yeah. But yeah, all of this for black? That looks massive. Wait. Oh, right, it's connected all the way back here. Great. <laughs> and that was the end of the game. It did end pretty peacefully, and somehow... It's white plus three and a half. White plus three and a half. Oh, this must be so large then. And then this is super large. Fascinating. Yeah, this is so intimidating, this large surrounded area up here. Okay. Score estimator says white plus seven and a half, but it's probably slightly wrong. Interesting, interesting. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so this is Lee Chang Ho versus Rui Nai Wei, and this is the fifth green LG Cup semifinal. Let me just make sure that every yep, we can see everything. Fantastic. Rui is white once again. They are both 9 pro at this point. Uh, Li Cheng Ho's opening orthodox. Responded with dual 4 fours. Insta pincer to prevent the Chinese. Black takes the enclosure. There's the shoulder hit right there. Not an alpha go shoulder hit after all. Okay. Black split. White approaches. Pincer double approach. Oh, that instant. Wow. Okay. Instead of blocking this way, white jumps up. Stays ahead. Doesn't bother blocking here. And instead attacks this stone.
Hmm, timing here. Interesting. I guess that was important, because otherwise black could connect under and through, right? What are, what are we doing? What are we doing over there? Sacrificing the two stones, building some on this side instead. Okay. Sacrifice for a Punuki, yes. Okay, and now we are running? Or are we killing? We are running and killing? We are killing. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a beautiful sequence. The stuff I almost did on Wednesday. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder, Ginku. <laughs> Push and cut. And take the corner away. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Oh, wow. I would have never thought of this co as, hmm. Oh, that's scary, bear. All right, all right. I'm seeing. I'm seeing some interesting things today. That's a big old co. You aren't kidding, self Atari. Oh my gosh. Is the co settled? Oh, it is. Yeah, Co is settled. We got something in exchange for that. Yeah, that was a huge exchange. Or quite the exchange, right? Okay. Lee Chang Ho, though. This is probably around the height of his career. It was in 2000? Or just the start of the height of his career, right? So, of course, he's not, you know, he's not messing around. Wait, connect. Connect all the way. And take a pretty large side on the left. That's a, that's some exciting stuff. You guys, this this game is fun. Oh. Cut, right? Push. Block. Complicated. We're playing the co again? What? <gasps> oh, by stars. That's gorgeous. Still no big fight. He, 
I mean, there's a fight. It's fighty. There's fighting happening. Maybe not what we expected as a big fight, right? Wait. Oh, oh. Nani? <laughs> You're right, no big fight. How does this game end? Oh, that's the end. White plus resign. Roy Nai Wei wins by resign. Because... Why? Is it a points thing? That is a good game. Estimate me some scores, huh? That's black plus four and a half. <laughs> because she's ahead by point five. Oh, but it was counting these as alive. Right? And they are, they are not alive. It doesn't update the status when I click on things. Oh, it has these as alive too. Okay. It's white plus 17, you guys. <laughs> It's white plus 17. It was not a close game. <laughs> it was not a close game. Not at all. Once this territory got destroyed, not even close. Okay, so that was, that was interesting. Interesting. Let's open the most recent one, and this is from last year. So this is Cho Hye Hyun. Versus Ru Naiwei. This is in 2018, and this is the fourth Korean Women's League playoff round three. Show starts with the old 4 4. Roy answers with 4 4. We've got maybe a Chinese opening here. Not at all. The approach this is from last year, so this is an AlphaGo style game. Let's see what happens. Black approach, white approach, black double approach, white attack, onyx, then 3-3. Three, three. The regular old regular Joseki. Black responds, white approaches the other corner. <laughs> oh, all these Tanukis are making me so nervous, you guys. I wish I had the guts to do this. It's, I know it's not guts, it's knowledge, but... <laughs> I guess I wish I had the knowledge to do this. Bladder clearly goes to white. Okay. <laughs> We're playing the... That was the new Joseki, right? Not really. Sort of. Yeah, that's one of the new ones. Okay. This... Looks so peaceful and buildy. I don't understand what's happening. Like, everything's kind of predictable so far in this game. The Tanuki's early on, not as much. Ooh. Okay, she seems to be really comfortable with less than alive groups. Kind of, kind of 
like who we saw last week. Um, now this is a fight, says Ginku. Yes, this is quite the fight. We have... Well, this group is just... No, this this group is potentially quite dead. <laughs> this group is potentially quite dead as well. Yowza. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I am I am quite lost here. So many things are happening. Okay, so white lived here. Black connected their group through the snapback. White's alive on top. Black has a tiny group up here. So the only thing that's in question is really this group in the middle. Okay, I understand now. Ish. But white has a really weak group down here as well. So I kind of expect white to maybe play something there. Yes, okay, great. Alright, I understand now. Sort of. Now I don't understand. Oh, right. White can't connect. If white connect, black will cut. And probably the semi eye doesn't work. I'm still learning timing, you guys. Timing is so difficult in this game. Timing is so difficult, in my opinion. I think timing is the most difficult aspect of this game. What do you guys think? What do you think is the most difficult aspect of Go? Are we straight up endgaming now? We straight up end gaming now. Okay. Evaluating the value of influence as Ginku. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's very difficult as well, huh? So we lost four stones. Roy lost four stones. I'm probably saying it wrong. Is it Rui? Rui? Oh, it'd be Rui. Rui. Naiwe. Naiwe. Right, because it's Korean. Mm. Oh, nice move. Is it Chinese? Oh, that's right. She lives in Korea now, but she's originally Chinese. My bad. My bad. I feel like that scares me, but there's this one little liberty hanging out over here. <laughs> that one little liberty saves the day. Wow. <laughs> Are we killing something? No. 
it's connected all the way back here. Straight up end game, end game all day long. Black with a single group, I know, right? That's amazing in itself. Cho Yeon, really. And let's just. That's the end. Anybody have a guess of what the result is? Any guesses? No? No guesses? Result is white plus 0 0.5, you guys. This is a 0 0.5 game. Amazing. Amazing. So what can I say about the three games we've looked at today? Um, I didn't see some of the things... <laughs> Matches of Bandit due to rain. I didn't see some of the things I read about um, when I was when I looked Rui Nai Wei up. Um, I didn't see those massive semi eyes. Um, I saw I saw a little bit of risk taking some big fights, but they were generally just resolved. Um, they were generally resolved peacefully, oddly enough, um, for for profit elsewhere. And I guess I could definitely learn from that. Um, and then, what else? I, I think it's very impressive how she keeps up with uh, modern styles and is, is such a strong player. Yes, there is that famous game that Bat showed. Um, I didn't get a real sense of, like, the aggression that I read a lot about. I didn't get a real, like, I didn't see... There was definitely fighting spirit and some stubbornness, but from what I read, it made it sound like that was her only thing, and that I didn't, I didn't see that that was her only thing from these games. I thought uh, the style was very competent, uh, very, well, of course, she's a 9 pro, right? Um, but, yeah, I was, I thought, they're good games to study, but I don't think this is really my style. I don't think this is my style. Um, yeah. Awesome. Awesome, though. If this is your style, definitely check out Roy Naiwei.